What's up? Uh, not a whole lot. I'm recovering from yesterday, but uh, I'm doing doing fairly well. Yeah, even though even though I titled this "Any Good Hangover Cures," I don't actually have a hangover today, but my voice is very rough. So. Um. A little less talking than normal today. How was your birthday? My birthday was pretty good. I enjoyed the birthday stream that I did. Um, and then after that, I got a couple of people to play some online board games with me. So that was good. I kind of hoped for a few more than two, but... Um, Need eight more decks. Excuse me for this character. And um, five more wisdom. Close in here. I'm going to start out with the priest. What's your opinion on Oryx 3? Well, so I don't do. I'm just not good enough to do endgame content. Um, so I haven't experienced Oryx 3. I rarely even go into to the wine cellar. Um, it, it, it looks interesting. It looks very tough. Um, it looked like it had started out tough and then they found some places, places to stand where they were a little less dangerous. And so they made it tougher. Um, but yeah, I mean, people had been getting bored. There was, they uh, had conquered all of the other dungeons, and so they felt they needed to make something a little tougher. Just wondering if you thought it was cool with what they did with it. I can't even do Oryx 3. It's too much for me at the moment. Well, obviously it's too much for me as well. <laughs> There's no way. Um, I would survive going going into... Oryx 3. I mean, not not even the earlier... Uh, we're not talking just about the, the sanctuary part, but the lead-up um, parts, I would not I would not survive. But it's always good to have something a little you know, that's a little harder that people can can test themselves on. Hello, Albino Rhino 420. Hello, Laurel Cron, if that is your real name. It is her real name. <laughs> In case people were wondering. Being all braggy about having seven Cyclops guards. They. Cyclops guards are not tough. <laughs> they are not very good guards. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, make it... Oh, hey, there's somebody in here with me. And it is Kim XC, XC, X. And nothing. Oh well, usually what you get out of here is nothing. So Kim XEXEX, if you are in my chat, hello. Hope you're having a good day. I hope everybody's having a good day. Hope you're all staying safe and healthy. <laughs> yes, you are. I thought so. As I said, my voice is a little rough. I did a lot more talking than I'm used to yesterday, so maybe a little low energy today, maybe a little less talking than normal, and I apologize for that. But well, person only has a 59th birthday once. <laughs> Not that big a deal, really. But <laughs> 
it was a fun it was a fun time I enjoyed it. I'm still interested in going into ancient ruins so across things that might drop ancient ruins I will pay attention really right now I am looking for sprite gods Mostly. What is this? It is a common exotic egg. I will probably poke around the edges of Godlands. Whoa, that's a big God cluster. All right. <laughs> yeah, I, I probably should go into that snake pit just because. Um, I kind of wanted to go into some sprite worlds today for this character. Not that way. This way. Um. Um. Yeah. All right. Dropped nothing. Okay. Don't oh, get off of the conveyor belt. <laughs> oh, that is the kind of annoying thing about this is when you're slowed and then you try to go the wrong way on a conveyor belt it just is painful of dexterity all right thank you for that reminder those centaurs drop ancient ruins yes yes i do know that um as do those what are they night elf queens so that's why i was i was paying a little bit more attention to the hunter centaurs and the night elf queens because i still want to continue doing i want to get better at ancient ruins so that i can eventually do a YouTube video doing a solo solo clear and <laughs> this is a tinkerer's quest for me for um, four marks of Mama Mega Moth might go into I might go into a forest maze just because of that but uh, not a big priority obviously you only get a beginner's quest chest but hey you can get no. Potion of speed or whatever out of there. Ooh. Uh, I didn't think I was going to be able to. Our priests really don't have that much damage that they do, so... Yes, thank you very much, Parkin, for your reminder not to die. Hope you had fun last night playing some board games. Hanging out. Drop a 
Ancient ruins for me. <laughs> and nothing else in here that I care about. The big purple sprites in the sprite world can possibly drop attack potions. Yes, those are the, uh, the native sprite gods. They do have... That's when, when I when I ran across one of them, I, I did stop and kill it, just in case. And in fact, there was one time, I keep going on about this, but it was, it, it stuck in my brain. Uh, there was one time I actually got three potions of attack out of one sprite world, because the, for some reason the native sprite gods were uh, very generous that day, which... I got a stupid giant lake in my way. That's annoying. Can you do an undead lair? I can. Uh, and in fact, I might today. For those of you... Good evening, seamstress. Oh, did I forget to post in Discord? Yes, I did. Let's see if I can post without dying. There. Oh, except... Of course, that meant that I have to exit out of Exalt because Exalt is stupid. All right, and I also just posted to Twitter. Um, anyway, <laughs> yes, I've done this before. Uh, anyway, so yes, if you weren't here at the very beginning, is it just me or does Kevin sound hoarse today? I do sound hoarse today. My voice is very rough. Um, I am going to be doing uh, another meeting of the Minnesota Science Fiction Society today, Society today at 4 p.m. my time, so in a less than two hours. So this stream is actually going to be short. Um, I'm not going to do any redeems today, and yes, I know I still owe a Sing a Song redeem, but I really don't want to sing a song with my voice like this. Um, I, do I need a common exotic egg? I do not. I need to do a little, but... Uh, anyway, so I'm going to go into org Ogre now, for anybody who cares where I am. Bolt Tour. I could do one of those. Um, not right now, but a little later I will do a Bolt Tour. And of course, I forgot to put my tabs back in order again after I I posted to Twitter. So I'm looking over here for for uh, chat for a while, I guess. The uh, yeah that that bug about losing and then improperly regaining focus for exalt is just kind of annoying. Oh, and we're getting another phone call. It's probably my wife's father, or maybe her mother. Where are we? 22. Uh, my vault is, is really, really, really not impressive. Um... <laughs> Everybody uh, who plays this game probably has a more impressive, well, almost everybody, not every single person, but most people. Who, hey, it's an ancient ruins. Stop shooting at me. There's the entrance. Um, yeah, and so don't expect to be impressed. There's one thing, one attribute of my vault that is slightly impressive. I'm gonna go this way. Um, and that is the number of clovers, lucky clovers that I've built up. Because I just always forget to use them. Except except when I'm like doing chest openings. So um so don't expect to be impressed by anything other than that. <laughs> I have a stupid number of lucky clovers, though. Alright, so the way that this dungeon works, if I'm seeing multiple forks off of here, that probably means that's the main path, and that this is a 
non main path fork. So yeah, I'm 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 still not really like an expert on this function, I would say, but I'm getting to know it somewhat well. Hey! We found a treasure room right off. Cool. Yes, if you see it split into two, it's a hundred percent main path. All right, so here we go. I don't like these four pillar things. What are you doing? You're, yeah, you were supposed to wake up there. I have to prove myself against him, which means damaging him apparently. Ah. Uh. Sommelier's gamble sometimes gets me irritating. Now, well, I think I read that his behavior depends on how the room is. Oh my goodness. Well, that was going poorly. <laughs> Just for a moment there, it sucked. <laughs> but I defeated him. It's over. I get a test chest. Well, a test lantern? I don't know. Um, attack! And I'll pick this up. I don't really need that, but I'll pick it up. I need attack? I do, and I'm actually pretty close on maxing attack on this character. Yes, it depends on the room his behavior does. I thought it did. So that little circling behavior, I think, is is what he starts out with in this room, in this room with the pillars in it. Not a lot of different room configurations for the for the treasure room. Um, so it's down that way. So I will try this way. This should be the. You could die. You're annoying. Silencing me. Healing monsters. Healing the monsters is <laughs> unfriendly to me. You don't see red dots, it's not a treasure. You see red dots inside, it's not a treasure room. Ah, so this means that it's not a treasure room. All you have to do is say, hey, look, there's some enemies. I don't need I just left one of those. There's some enemies in that room. No, so it's not the not one of the treasure rooms. Yeah, that Corridor split image. I have not seen the, that at all myself first person. I think that's an interesting sort of difference that you can encounter. I've seen stuff like that in snake pits where like a, a tunnel will branch. I've seen that in here. I have a free character sl slot. Should I make a paladin or a knight? I have seven ranged characters already, so I'm going to make a melee one? Yeah. They're all ranged. You probably do want to make a melee one. Paladin or knight? I, I, I often will... I mean, there are a number of things that determine what character I fill a character slot with. A lot of times it's just, what gear do I have? Do I have a, you know, ability item, like an ST or a UT ability item for a particular class? I will, that will make it more likely that I'll create a character for that class. Happens in tombs as well. Okay. Semi rare <laughs> trickster. Well, that would always be 
Uh, your answer seems stress. There we go. Interesting, this dungeon has a nice mix of status effects that the things can inflict on you. I'm not a big fan of having my character be <laughs> under a status effect, but it does make it a more interesting dungeon, I think. Since right now I'm slowed, which in this dungeon can be really bad because. You can get caught in quick quicksand and slowed at the same time. That's why you want to play Trickster. <laughs> okay. Because then even if you're slowed and in quicksand, you can still... Teleport away.